This video is brought to you by Surfshark. Stick around to hear more about the special discount they're providing to the entire upper echelon community. Today is a good day. Not every day is a good day, but today is. And do you want to know why today is a good day? Because Alex Mashinsky just got hit with four separate judicial actions simultaneously. For those unaware, I was one of the first people calling Mashinsky out, at least one of the first people with a platform at the very least. To be clear, I was not the first person vocally criticizing Celsius. I believe that title belongs to a man going by the name Dirty Bubble Media on Twitter, but I worked directly with him to produce coverage and discuss the dangers of Celsius long before its ultimate collapse. I'll link to his page down below. If anyone truly deserves a victory lap here, it's him. Funnily enough, in the very first video I did on the subject, I got one thing wrong, which Celsius weaponized against me. They actually sent me a cease and desist letter over the video threatening me with a lawsuit, which then motivated me to subsequently create multiple additional videos in order to, shall we say, clarify the situation. Unfortunately, that's not the clarity they wanted. Less than two months later, the company went belly up. Because it was a criminal scheme, and the problems they were facing got a whole lot bigger. Once again, we're talking about Netflix documentary level stuff here. Mashinsky and other executives cashed out $18 million directly before the bankruptcy. The former compliance officer for the company came out and became a whistleblower against illegal token manipulation, and even Mashinsky's wife was in the mix, antagonizing the community and walking away with millions of dollars. Not a good situation. Well, this one has a bit of a happy ending, and the reason I sound confident when I say that is because all at once, precisely one year later to the very day after the company declared bankruptcy initially, on July 13th, 2023, Celsius got hit by not one, not two, but three separate regulatory cases, as well as an indictment from the Department of Justice, and Mashinsky was arrested. I'll be pausing the video here, doing a little dance in the hallway, and then coming back to record the rest. Pardon me. Okay, with that out of the way, I should clarify something. This is one of, I'd say, the top three or so long-running projects that I feel personally invested in. I had a video called Let's See Some Jail Time about Celsius and Alex Mashinsky himself. I had one called The Man Who Destroyed Billions, also about Mashinsky, obviously. And the stakes here were just personally significant. After some of the early warnings that were given, reported on by the likes of Dirty Bubble Media and myself, I received testimonials from people who managed to withdraw their money from the platform. However, for every single positive message about someone avoiding the catastrophe because of early warning signs or reporting done by me and others, there were thousands more who didn't. And those people deserve justice. All right, time for the video sponsor, and today that sponsor is Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN, virtual private network, and VPNs protect you from a bunch of things. Certain types of phishing attacks, malware, DNS tunneling, DDoS attacks, you name it, and also shields you to a degree, no solution is ever perfect, by the way, from the inevitable and constant data harvesting that takes place, as well as tracking, from big tech companies. For those more focused on raw entertainment value, Surfshark unlocks additional content on streaming websites, like Netflix, for example. This is a direct result of how licensing agreements operate globally. Simply change a region and enjoy increased options in your video library. Surfshark can get you around regional censorship, that's a big one, such as government restrictions on certain websites, and also offers encryption, IP protection, or more importantly, modification, and more. For those that care, real quick, let's see how they feel about me even saying this, Surfshark merged with a company called Nord Security not too long ago, but for anyone concerned by that, of which there might be a few people in the audience who are, these two companies operate entirely separate VPN infrastructure. Surfshark has a warrant canary, for those who know what that is, and having looked into their company for quite a while now, I have confidence in their service on a personal level. If you click the link down below right now using promo code ECHELON, you can get three full months entirely for free. Again, that's promo code ECHELON for three entire months for free, not just a discount. If you click the link down below in the description today, big thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring the channel. Let's take a look at the actual complaints here because simultaneous actions like that from three separate agencies precisely one year to the day after the initial declaration of bankruptcy is just narratively poetic. First is the SEC. Obviously, these documents are very, very long. I'll have to summarize and pick out some bullet points. Can't read the whole thing, but the action is filled with lines like this. Celsius and Mashinsky falsely represented that Celsius did not make uncollateralized loans with investor assets. Celsius and Mashinsky falsely represented that Celsius did not engage in directional trading. Celsius and Mashinsky falsely represented that Celsius had no leverage. Celsius and Mashinsky falsely represented that 80% of Celsius's revenue is returned to investors, or... And this one is my personal favorite here. Celsius and Mashinsky falsely represented the amount raised by the Cell ICO. That's a great one because I had actually been receiving information from another source during the span of these events with heavily researched information about the Celsius token ICO. It was great work, it really was, and it was subsequently pushed along to the SEC. It just never became its own dedicated video on this channel. 
I'm going to link to their Substack down below. Actually, they have some solid reporting on the crypto industry and they deserve a moment of recognition here. The complaint doesn't stop there. In further sections, it asserts that Celsius misrepresented the number of active users on the platform, lied about defaulting on loans, falsely represented their financial condition or the scope of insurance and lied about compliance. I could probably make an entire video on just the SEC filing that came out today because they apparently lied about practically every single material condition of their entire business structure, but it's not even a third of the full picture. Let's move on to the CFTC complaint. Here's the opening paragraph, quote, Beginning in 2018 and continuing through at least June 2022, the relevant period, Celsius Network LLC, together with its parent and related entities, Celsius, and Alexander Mashinsky, Mashinsky, one of its founders and chief executive officer, CEO, together defendants, engaged in a scheme to defraud hundreds of thousands of customers by misrepresenting the safety and profitability of its digital asset-based finance platform. End quote. Booyah! Get f***ed, Mashinsky. But there's more. This part was super interesting to me and made me happy when I read it. Quote, Defendant Mashinsky directly or indirectly controlled Celsius and did not act in good faith, or knowingly induced, directly or indirectly, the acts constituting violations of 7 U.S.C. committed by Celsius. Therefore, pursuant to 7 U.S.C., Defendant Mashinsky is also liable as a control person for each of Celsius's violations. End quote. Ah, <sighs> you smell that, guys? That's the smell of a scumbag getting metaphorically nailed to a wall. It's delicious, isn't it? Now, that one, the CFTC complaint in particular, is all about financial penalties, so not as spicy, but still good. Let's go over to the FTC. Here's a paragraph that aptly summarizes the reality of Celsius Network. Quote, from at least 2019 until June 2022, defendants duped consumers, many of whom were inexperienced with cryptocurrency, into transferring their cryptocurrency assets onto the Celsius platform. Defendants promised consumers that Celsius was safer than a bank or other traditional financial institution and misrepresented that their deposits were safe because Celsius earned profits at no risk to consumers by making secured crypto loans to other exchanges. Defendants guaranteed that if consumers transferred cryptocurrency to Celsius, they would continue to own it and they could withdraw it at any time because Celsius had billions of dollars in liquidity and maintained sufficient reserves to meet customer obligations." End quote. Mashinsky strikes again. Those are his words, by the way, and they were lies. I mean, for the best explanation of how cartoonishly evil and brain-dead Mashinsky is, he was tweeting out, and I quote, Mike, do you know even one person who has a problem withdrawing from Celsius? Why spread FUD and misinformation? If you are paid for this, then let everyone know you are picking sides. Otherwise, our job is to fight traditional finance together, end quote. This happened, this was tweeted, less than one day before the platform paused everyone's withdrawals, later going belly up and declaring Chapter 11 bankruptcy because it was a fraud scheme. Going on a tangent here, we need, we absolutely need to dispel with this societal rumor that someone being rich is in any way indicative of intelligence. I don't know how in the world that kind of mentality got fostered to begin with, but crypto millionaires are not smart people. They are subpar con men grifters who happen to have stolen enough money to where the possession of said money is a self-perpetuating cycle of pseudo-credibility. Being rich in crypto is like being 45 years old in the ball pit at Burger King playing King of the Hill with greasy seven-year-olds. Are you proud of yourselves for winning? Is this an accomplishment for you? At this point, I'm genuinely curious. How about another dose of reality here? This is the unsealed Department of Justice complaint. That means not penalties and fines, but criminal charges. I'll just read the actual charges. Count one, securities fraud. Count two, commodities fraud. Count three, wire fraud. Count four, conspiracy to manipulate the price of sell. Count five and six are an extension of that. And count seven is more wire fraud. I'm sure there will be a lot of in-depth legal analysis of these documents from a multitude of law channels in particular in the coming few days, but the gist of it is that Mashinsky has been hit from every side after digging himself a hole so deep and so steep on the sides, there's absolutely no escape. The former chief revenue officer, Ronnie Cohen Pavon, has also been hit with multiple counts of fraud. And it's funny because he's one of the reasons I initially started covering it all. The funny thing was that there were these ties between Mashinsky, Celsius, and a guy named Moshi Hogek, who Mashinsky pretended loosely and really transparently not to know. One of their executives got arrested, people started watching, and once the dominoes began to fall, and there were a lot of small dominoes, like rapidly falling at the time, they got bigger fast. 
To be clear, some of this stuff, a little bit of it, is performative. For example, the FTC complaint is already in a state of settlement, I think, where Celsius is banned from handling consumer assets, obviously, and mandated to pay a fine of $4.7 billion. But the fine itself against the company is suspended because they are in Chapter 11 bankruptcy. They don't have that money. That's the point of bankruptcy. And the company needs to be liquidated to try and pay back customers. So let's dispel with this, we're going to relaunch Celsius type thing. Nope, nuke it, burn it to the ground, sell all of it, fire everyone, every single penny needs to be returned to the actual people who put money in and had their money stolen, get rid of it, salt the earth once you've burned it. When it comes to Mashinsky, the CFTC complaint is not in fact settled, that will go to federal court, but for once we get to revel in some good news. This is the path that crypto deserves. This is what the industry has brought upon itself. And people like Mashinsky need to be made example of. Lock him up forever and throw away the key. Stealing from hundreds of thousands of people simultaneously to an extent where their future and livelihood are dramatically impacted should be treated with extreme prejudice. We are not hard enough on financial crime in this country. That's for damn sure. The fact that this industry has been allowed to persist is an embarrassment to humanity. And more executives, CEOs, moguls in the crypto space will fall in the not too distant future. I can only hope that they get maximum sentences with no opportunity for parole. I don't want to call it a victory lap, but it's a f***ing victory lap. Everyone who helped bring this corruption into the light deserves recognition, especially Dirty Bubble Media, his page is linked down below in the description. And I want to say as one final addendum here, Mario Nafal should be paying extra special close attention right now. In a just society, this is what con men and grifters get served. I've been documenting the things you delete, Mario. Taking things down now, after the reporting about your roundtable sponsors, it's not a good look. I'm watching Mario, always watching, because people like you need people like me to hold them accountable with the truth. That's it. I'm going to take a break right now, play some Project Zomboid, and have my favorite meal. If you want to support the channel, check out the links down below. I'm finally starting to work on doing short form content. It's stupid, I hate it, but YouTube is forcing me, so yeah. Please do check out Patreon or Locals or channel memberships since Reach is now heavily throttled on the platform because I don't spam ADHD garbage for the TikTok generation. What a world we live in. Anyway, that's it. Celsius Network and Mashinsky are getting what they deserve. Have a nice night.